Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and in today's video, we're going over uh, my my usual and typical metal analysis video. And this time, we're discussing the Toon Axel and Pluto v VIP medal that we got for this week, and most likely next week as well. Uh, but just like usual, in case you are new to the channel or new to the website, but just like usual, I have. The Toon Axle and Pluto Metal already updated on my site at khuxnation.com. And it'll be on the front page like it is right here. And in case you happen to be viewing from some time in the future, you can always click on the Metal Analysis tab on the top right hand corner. Go to All Metals or VIP and uh, select the category that goes along with Toon Axle and Pluto and you'll find its Metal Analysis article. It'll all, the link will also be uh, included in the description below if that makes it easier. <laughs> But other than that, let's get started with the metal analysis. Toon Axum Pluto is a power reverse tier 8 metal, has a score of 39.288, is random target, has a total max multiplier of 7.82 to a 13.20, uses 0 gauges, has 4 hits, and this is what its ability is. For 2 turns, he raises your strength and power strength by 4 tiers and your reverse strength by 1 tier. He restores three gauges and inflicts more damage than more special attacks used in succession. Now, there's a few interesting things that I I should that I need to talk about and state uh, in terms of this metal, uh, and and some of the advice I can give will vary depending on whether or not you're a beginner, intermediate, or a veteran player. But uh, overall, my first thought when I found out what this metal does is that it's almost like a tier eight version of the aqua and stitch vip metal we got like forever ago um the only main difference between the aqua and stitch metal and this metal is the fact that well first of all this one provides reverse strength uh which the aqua and stitch doesn't provide any type of up upright strength or reverse strength um, but this one only provides power buffs instead of psm buffs whereas the aqua and stitch does provide psm best but lower amount of tiers so at the very least this is dedicated to pure power or more specifically power reverse since it does provide a reverse buff um, which i find very interesting and this is where the information kind of varies depending on whether or not you're beginner intermediate or veteran if you're a beginner player this metal could be a very nice start uh towards trying to help you out in the game because essentially as of right now if you're a beginner player chances are you've only been playing for maybe like a month or so more or less and you might you might not have very metal very many metals uh for either as damage metals or as your main uh buffer metals okay for toon axon pluto uh one thing i like about these type of metals is that they can be used both as damage metals or as buffer metals main buffer metals too and stuff okay uh and there's not too many metals in the game that do that in terms of how you want to use it is that if you have them as a main buffer metal, okay, you're going to want to use it in your first two slots. So, uh, Toon Axum Pluto plus a copper metal to copy it. So that way you can max out all your general strength buffs as well as all your power strength buffs. And you'll even get two reverse strength buffs uh, in the process as well. And even some SP gauge uh, cost restoration. And if you choose to use this as a damage metal, because of the fact that the ability does say that he, he inflicts more damage than more special attacks used in succession, metals that use that type of phrasing, that they do more damage than more special attacks used in succession, uh, typically the amount that they need in order to do max damage is about six special attacks. And it does include their own special attack. All right. So uh, because of this, Toon Axel and Pluto would be best to use within the 5th or 6th slot of your Keyblade. 6th uh, slot if you don't have any metals with extra attack. If you have one metal with extra attack, you can put it in the 5th slot. Essentially, you want to put it in the 5th or 6th slot to get the most damage out of Toon Axel and Pluto. And for anybody who is not a beginner uh, to the game, you might already start seeing some of the problems uh, that come to mind when for towards Toon Axel and Pluto, okay? For a beginner player, this might be great because you, you're you probably in a state of the game in which you're you're pretty much lacking in very good, decent uh, buffer metals that you can use for your setups. You might still be using um, just purely the 0.2 Kyrie at this point of the game, 
Um, and you don't really have anything else to just like majorly buff up uh, your attributes. And you might be using just whatever damage metals you might have as your main damage metals, okay? Uh, so that might be the state that you're in. But for everyone else, you're most likely already going to have much better uh, main buffer debuffer metals than Tunax and Pluto. Uh, one of the most obvious ones being the Illustrated Kyrie or Shuni X and even any of the stained glass metals as of right now too. Um, those just vastly outdo Tunax and Pluto obviously. There are just so many more metals in the game that just completely outperform, outclass Tunax and Pluto if you wish to use them as a damage metal as well. Because remember I said that he's best used for the 5th or 6th slot but uh, those slots are typically reserved for your strongest damage metals uh, as well. Because, like, that's the end of your Keyblade rotation. So you just want to, like, you want that finishing touch to just make sure you kill them as fast as possible. A very easy and common staple that just outdoes Tunax and Pluto in terms of damage is simply the uh, HD Kingdom Hearts 2 Leon that we have right now as well. If you look back at Tunax and Pluto, his total max multiplier is a 7.82 to a 13.20. So if you have in the 6th slot, he'll, he'll get that 13.20. However, a HD Kingdom Hearts 2 Leon, his total max multiplier, when he's in the 6th slot, the same exact slot that Tunax and Pluto would be in, is actually at a 13.8, which is already just higher than Tunax and Pluto. And HD Kingdom Hearts 2 Leon is a, is like a common staple. Like, you get him like all the time in pulls now, or in the top drawer deal, so it's like, realistically, if you're not a beginner player, uh, Tunax and Blue is not that great of a metal. Um, you honestly don't even really need to use it, at least not as of right now. Now, just to go and do what I usually do in my metal analysis articles, I'm going to go ahead and compare Tunax and Pluto with the rest of the metals in the game. Uh, and we're going to start off by comparing him with the rest of the tier 8 metals. All right. This is the full tier 8 metal spreadsheet that we have as of right now. And it's not very big just yet, but that's only to make sense because tier 8 metals are still somewhat fairly new. Um, but if we take a look at the tier 8 list, it, right now it's organized by score. And if you recall, the uh, Toon Axon Pluto had a score of 39.288. So in the tier 8 spreadsheet on my website, uh, we can see that he's actually listed right here, pretty much smack dab in the middle of the whole list. But the main thing that I want to point out is like the actual score differences. Okay, so if we take a look at it right now, the only metals above Toon Axe and Pluto are pretty much just the stained glass metals. Uh, which, I mean, which makes sense. Um, I don't count HD Riku Replica because those are just automatically the best metals in the game. I don't care what you say. They are just the best metals in the game. Um, so in terms of like an analysis like that, I kind of consider them outliers and I just don't like really look at them. Uh, but yeah, the stained glass metals are pretty much the only metals in the game that outdo Tunax and Pluto in terms of score. And they outdo them by significant amount. Now, if you recall what I mentioned earlier uh, from possible earlier videos and such um i'm 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 kind of i'm pretty much predicting that the stained glass metals are going to be like some of the high end uh tier 8 metals that are pretty much going to be some of the best metals within the tier 8 section for quite a long time at least for the next few months anyways uh tunax of pluto out of all of the other metals that are in the game that are not just like random high-end metals um he is currently the best tier 8 metal in terms of score okay just making sure I put that out in terms of score now if we want to take a look at the actual multipliers if we organize this by total max multiplier uh, we can see that he drops down all the way to <laughs> the very bottom uh, but again, then again that's just in terms of total max multiplier the only way he's gonna ever have that 7.82 multiplier is if he's like in your first slot or, or you just never use a special attack before you reach your Toon Axon Pluto. I mean, in, in this regard, it just makes sense. But chances are, if you're going to be using your Toon Axon Pluto for damage anyways, uh, you're realistically going to be looking more at the alternative to Max bar Multiplier, so we're going to organize it by that instead. And if we look at that, he's still pretty much at the bottom, and this makes sense since most Tier 8 medals, as of right now, are multipliers are pretty much around... Uh, kind of like are in, in between the 13 and 15 uh, multiplier range at this point in time. Uh, and Tunax and Pluto is pretty much really close to just barely the 13 uh, line. He is pretty much the weakest 
in terms of damage multipliers, the weakest tier 8 metal that we have, or one of the weakest tier 8 metals we currently have in the game. After looking at that, there's something I want to point out as well, which is the fact that take a look at all of the tier 8 metals, aside from the stained glass metals, that we've had so far. Okay, so I'm going to organize it by score again. All of these metals that we've had so far that are tier 8, except Zelda Plus, because that's not in the, that's not in global yet. But all the other metals in the game, aside from stained glass and Riku Replica and Zelda Plus, are pretty much around or lower than a score of 40. For any of you that have watched my metal analysis articles for the previous metals in the game that were like tier 7 and such, I quite frequently stated that a what made a what typically made a uh, good tier 7 metal well kind of good or at least like average good for a tier what I would expect out of tier 7 is if its score was around a was around the 40 mark. Okay, um, so if we take a look at this is right here is the tier 7 spreadsheet and right now I have it organized by score and as we can see right here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just like and just like highlight some of these okay like look at these okay this is around the like 40 ish range right here we can see like Kingdom Hearts 3 King Mickey uh, we see the uh, DuckTales medals Valor Genie Hercules B uh, HD Axle, Master Xehanort EX, Dual Wield Roxas, the Four Teller Metals. Um, these pretty much all are around the 40 range uh, in terms of score in the game. And these were actually metals that I kind of considered more or less uh, tier 7 worthy. Or what I would consider actually tier 7 worthy. Because of this, uh, this makes me think that, well, if I'm seeing tier 8 metals that are still around the same score of a normal tier seven metal uh pretty much what that's telling me is that um and there's a pattern to this do it happened it's happened for like so, uh, like tier six and five as well it's not just tier seven but essentially what uh what is happening and what i'm expecting to happen as well is that we're still we're still seeing the early stages of uh what tier eight metals are um and usually the early stages of whatever tier that you're new to are in you'll essentially still be seeing a lot of metals that are similar to the previous tier. So what I'm trying to say from that is basically uh, we have not really seen the true potential of what actual tier 8 metals are going to be like aside from the stained glass metals that we've had so far. I would have no doubt in my mind that when it comes to a tier 8 metal or what I would consider a actually really good tier 8 metal that I would actually consider being worth called uh, tier 8. I wouldn't doubt it if like the score would end up going up to maybe like a uh, 45 to 50 range depending on what comes out uh, hopefully 50 but we'll see I guess but that's kind of along the lines of what I expect the tier the actually really good worthwhile tier 8 medals to be uh, along the lines of so that's something I kind of want to point out uh, I thought it was interesting to look at. But aside from that, let's go ahead and take a look at the spreadsheet for all the medals in the game. Um, so right here is the spreadsheet for all of the currently existing medals in the game. And as you can see right here, I already took the time to highlight it. This is uh, organized by score at the moment as well. Two Naxo Pluto is on the front page, which is actually really good. Um, and actually isn't that bad it's kind of to be expected and to go along with what i was saying before that like two nax of pluto is along the lines of what i considered a good tier 7 metal you can see if you just take a look of like the metals that are kind of around two nax on pluto so like look at this right here you can see there's like a ton of like tier 7 metals right here uh here's two nax of pluto and if we even look up a bit there's still a ton of tier 7 metals right here so it's basically tunax and pluto is still basically along the lines of what i would consider a good tier 7 metal i don't think uh i definitely don't think it's considered actually tier 8 worthy um technically all tier means is that it can have a higher guilt percentage and all guilt percentage does is mean it can do more damage uh, it's not a good way at all or any way I should consider saying at all in terms of saying like what is actually a good metal or whatnot. Tier honestly doesn't matter. It's more about abilities. Uh, the only time tier actually matters is if you're looking for like damage metals and such. That is it. But in terms of if I consider Toon Axon Pluto an actually tier 8 worthy metal, it is not. It is more along the lines of what I consider a good tier 7 worthy metal. 
Um, and I, I firmly believe we have not yet seen what will probably be considered a good tier 8 medal just yet. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. Uh, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are about this medal. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.